What's up, Deltzoner92, back again with another video, um, kind of a little random video, I'm just excited because I, um, got something in the mail today, and this is it right here, it's a uh, NAND X, made by Team Executor, I ordered it off of, I think it was called xconsoles.com, I paid about, I think it was like 48, 49 bucks, and shipping was fast, I got it a day or two later. So there's that. I already unboxed it and all that good stuff, but let me just see. So pretty much, this is it right here. This is the whole shebang. Um, it's where you plug it into the computer, the USB adapter. And then, honestly, I'm not even quite sure what some of these plugins are for. Um, I don't know what that one does. Or that one, I'm sure I'll figure it out soon as I'm going to attempt to JTAG my first Xbox. But um, So yeah, there's pretty much... From what I gotten out of it, there's three different ways you can read the NAND with this. Um, first option would be to use the quick solder boards, which I tested out on one Xbox. I, to I didn't like it at all whatsoever, so I actually ended up cutting the ends off the wires, and I just found the best way for me was to solder the wires directly onto the motherboard. And also, let me see if I can find it. Uh, let's see. Um, yep, yeah, here it is. Yeah, the third way was by using pin headers, and pretty much you need to get some, um, it's like solder thread or desolder thread to get the solder out of the holes on the motherboard and push those through. But I didn't feel like dealing with all that, and this was the simplest way for me. Um, haven't actually JTAGged an Xbox for myself yet, but I did practice on this motherboard right here and another one that I had, the pre NXE ones, um, just to see if I can, you know, at least read the NAND. And I was actually able to do it. It was really simple. I mean, I have no solder experience really, like soldering experience. And I was able to get it on my first try. So that was cool. And um, I know that I've actually owned a JTAG Xbox before. And I remember the guy that JTAGged it for me. It took him like, fuck, it took him hours to get the NAND, you know, to get good dumps and to compare them. And so, um,. Yeah, when I read the NAND, it took about, I think, two minutes each each NAND dump. So, really fast solution. And um, I actually ordered a Red Ring of Death Xbox 360 off eBay yesterday. So, hopefully, it'll be coming maybe, uh, I don't know, I think it said by Friday or Saturday it'll be here. And then uh, my goal is um, <clears throat> to kind of have a step-by-step, -step, uh, I don't know if I call it tutorial, but more just, I guess, journey in trying to JTAG an Xbox for noobs. So... You know, all you people out there that, you know, would like to JTAG an Xbox but really have no idea what they're doing. Hopefully, you know, uh, by me doing this, I'll be able to help you out. And um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to hit me up. And I'm no expert at this, but, you know, I'm sure that I can help you. Um, and, you know, I'll at least try to help you the best of my capabilities. But so, yeah, here's this. And I'll be, um, once I get the Xbox, I'll, I'll um, start recording the video and take it step by step and show you exactly what I do um one other thing real quick before I go is that um the program that I was using for this was called it's called JTAG tool I think it was um created by by Cool Shrimp and the biggest problem I was having was installing the drivers for this thing my my computer would register it um the program the program said no something I don't know no USB device detected and no matter what I did, it was just a pain in the ass. I could not get it to work. So what I ended up having to do was, um, let me see if I can actually show you real quick. Hold on. All right, so I got my computer starting up real quick. This is the program here I was telling you about um, by Coolstream. It's called JTAG Tool. Very simple, user-friendly program. That's what I'll definitely be using to, to JTAG and read the NAND on my, on my uh Xbox 360 when I end up getting it but okay so yeah like I said the main problem I was having was that the drivers weren't installing correctly or it just wasn't registering and so let's see if I can find it and put it under here I don't know if you can see it's pretty shitty but I ended up downloading the files called NAND Pro 20D drivers and if I can find it I don't remember where I got it from but I'll um I'll put the link in the description so you can download it yourself. But what I had to do is I went under where is it? Start Control Panel. Um, where is it at? Hardware and Sound. 
I think it's different if you're going to be on XP, but for Windows Vista and um, Windows 7, this is how you'll get to it. And then you go under, you need to get to your device manager. I know the quality is really shitty on this right now, but at least you can get the idea. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see. Where's it at? Oh, you know it's not even plugged in right now, so I can't show it to you. But, bottom line is, I guess I'll upload another video, probably, just to show you guys. But, you'll see it listed in here. And what you gotta do is, you gotta right click it. And you gotta click install drivers, manually install. And you have to select that folder that you downloaded. And just click on that folder, and it'll say, um, like, are you sure? Something like, something like, are you sure you would like to do that? Click OK, and then bam, two minutes later, you're good to go, and all the drivers are installed, and you shouldn't have any problems with that. So, but like I said, yeah, I don't even have the USB hooked up right now, so I'll, I'll, show, I'll put another video up actually, um, in case somebody wants it, just showing in more detail how to get the drivers installed properly. But, alright then, um, like I said, I'll have my other video started um, as soon as I get my Xbox in the mail, and we'll follow through with that. Alright, it's Dope Slayer 92. I'm out.